Hello YouTube and welcome to the channel. Throughout this channel we'll be visiting famous graves, museums, places of interest, a little bit of randomness and uh, stuff like that. So I hope you can subscribe and join us on this journey and that's about it. So without further ado we'll start with the first video which will be Oscar Merrifield. Thank you very much. We've made it here to Verwood Cemetery and um, this is where we'll find Buster Merrifield buried alongside his late wife Iris and uh, Buster he was born in November 1920 in Battersea London but later moved to the south coast well further south because London is sort of like south we further south to a place called Paul in Dorset where he uh, lived out the rest of his life alongside his wife and uh, children and grandchildren. He, um, he became a national institution after he took on a role of um, Uncle Albert in the British sitcom Only Fools and Horses. And uh, he's quite known for his uh, catchphrase during the war, where he boasts of being on numbers of sh number of ships and being a frogman, all sorts of different stories that had come out with throughout the shows. He, um, he served in World War II as a physical training and jungle warfare instructor, and. Uh, where are we? We're still trying to find out. Maybe we can get Maybe up here. No. And yeah, and uh, also serving in South Africa and India as a lieutenant. And uh, also during the war, he'd um, entertain the troops as he is a sports and entertainment officer. And I've just spotted him in his wife. So what happened was Buster he was um he was actually a bank manager in a little town up the road in Hampshire called New Milton. And as it goes, it's actually my bank that he used to manage. And this is his grave. Where he's laying down by his wife Iris Merrifield. He was born in 1910 and sadly passed away a couple of years later in 2002. He lived for those, he loved for those, he loved and those, and he loved to remember him. Good night, good night, parting is such sweet sorrow, as I, as I shall say, good night, till it be tomorrow. And uh, unfortunately, his tile has, uh, must have fell off and cracked and somebody's uh, put it back on there and done the best they could for it. And as you see you've got the little um sometimes have the little key ring there, with the little uh rubber light that you see, and a little um model of him as well. So, yeah. And there's Buster's grave. Rest in peace, Buster. And thank you for many wonderful memories you left us all on the uh, Falls and Horses show. Really good stuff.
So now, what we're going to do is I'm going to take you to where Buster's um, sitcom career started, I suppose you could say. Well, obviously he had his bits in the war and entertaining the troops, which would have um, got him in the mood for it, I suppose, in one way. And uh, then later on in life, he, after the war, he was working for 40 years in a bank in New Milton, like I said earlier. And that's where the story of his career, career in the sitcom began. So, we'll get back in the car and we'll go there. See you shortly. And now we're here in the uh, small small town of New Milton in Hampshire and this is where Buster would have worked at the bank. Oh. And it's here at this Lloyd's Bank that uh, Buster would have um, been the manager of. Two seconds. I'll just get you across so you can see the building itself. So, yeah, this is the Lloyd's Bank where Buster would have worked. And uh, somewhere in one of these rooms, or maybe, possibly one of his offices, at the time as his manager, he would have um, served one of his customers and they would have spoke to him. This is a rumour. They would have spoke to him about acting and furthering his career. In acting. And the story goes that somebody spoke to him in a meeting one day while there was you know, his customer in the store, you know, a meeting, and uh, asked him if he was interested in the, in the role, and he took it on happily. And uh, the rest is history, as they say. So, anyway, thank you for um, watching the video. If you've watched it up to here, I'm pretty amazed. And thank you. Uh, please subscribe and help me uh, progress and continue with this. I'll take you to more graves and museums and places of interest. And uh, from New Milton, from me, it's goodbye. And uh, rest in peace, Buster. Thank you. Oh, all right. Hmm? Did you get Albert home safely? Yeah, I got him home safely, all right, Rodney. <laughs> Morning, son. Morning. You're back. Boomerang Trotter always comes back. What happened? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. I drove him all the way back to North London, right through the bleeding rush hour. And what did we find when we got there? Stan and Jean have moved. 